Hey guys, DPG from HackHollywood.com, HackBollywood.com. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I wear a lot of different sunglasses. I guess I'm a bit of a sunglass freak. So, I thought it'd be fun if you guys let me know. What do you think of these glasses? Maybe pick your favorites out of all the ones you've seen me wear. Uh, this particular pair is a pair of Ray-Bans with a uh, blue, I think they call it the Evolve changeable lens which I love. I love the changeable lenses because I can work indoors, you know, like I'm doing right now, and I can still see, and then when I go outdoors, they get darker. So there's a little plug, no link, sorry. But anyway, today's video, and please like, share, subscribe, and comment questions, suggestions in the comment section below. But uh, today is uh, all about what you can do to improve your memorization skills and get exercise. Uh, and in particular, this really uh, is applicable during the coronavirus. So basically what I suggest you guys do is what I'm kind of doing right now, which is the walk and talk, okay? Because um, not only will you get better, better at memorizing uh, because you are practicing, but you will get more naturalistic because while you are walking and doing something else, you're not focused exclusively on what it is you're going to say and how you're going to say it, which are you know, all the typical things that actors get involved in that aren't really particularly helpful for them. Um, so right now, as you can see, I'm looking to check the traffic, the light's about to change, and I'm having a conversation with you. And this is the kind of thing that I really recommend you get used to because that's how we act in regular life, okay? We don't just stare at people and talk to them and they don't just stare at us and talk back. We have lots of other stuff going on. I mean, if you've ever noticed, I don't know if you were a teenager or if you have teenagers or, you know, you have a phone, right? How much of the time are you actually looking at your device while you're having a conversation with someone? And sometimes it's very broken up and sometimes it's very, um, you know, it's, it's completely seamless. So I'm, you know, texting on my phone. Some people are really good at the whole multitasking and other people not so good. I'm terrible at it. Um, I forget everything after I've done it. And if you tell me, what did you, you know, did you do that thing I asked you to do yesterday? <laughs> First of all, I'm like, what thing? And then it's like, well, no, because I forgot as soon as you told me. And it really pisses people off, but that's, uh, really just my condition, which is just a horrible ADD, um, which is what makes it really difficult for me to be an actor because I need to have enough stuff to, you know, occupy me or I get distracted. My brain just goes off on its own. I have no control over where it goes a lot of times. Um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. So if I were you guys, I would, uh, Hey, I'm saying hi to a little doggy and, uh, you know, if you've got a scene, get the scene, print it out if you have to, whatever, or just put it on your phone. And while you are going through your memorization process, hopefully you use my 30 minute audition technique because it's incredibly simple and it makes memorization virtually automatic. It's almost impossible not to memorize when you use it. But uh, you know, you're just doing something else, you know, like doing the housework taking a walk, um, anything other than just saying your lines. Because if you uh, do it this way, you will find that the words come out quite naturally. And you don't need to really think about the emotions that you're having if you already understand the character's purpose, like what the scene is about, what is the story, etc. If you all understand all that, you know, then somebody tells you to do something, asks you something, confronts you, whatever it is. If you are doing something like looking at crossing the street and you can imagine this, let's say you're having an argument with your significant other and you're at the uh, crosswalk. Uh, yeah, let's say the crosswalk, right? So you aren't even sure if the cars are going to stop. And even though this is a life or death situation, you're going to dedicate a lot of attention to 
what's happening at the crosswalk, even though your wife, your boyfriend, whatever, this person is maybe letting you have it, maybe telling you that they are leaving you. I mean, imagine if someone, right, while you're actually crossing the street, says, that's it, I'm leaving you. Right, as an actor, we would be thinking, oh, what would I do if this happened, right? We will try to imagine what we would do. Well, I'll tell you right now, it is actually impossible to know what you would do. And so that's why it's much better to just let things flow through you. But you have to establish the facts, right? You have to establish that you are in a relationship with somebody and that you love this person or whatever it is. See, now I almost walked out in front of a car there and I stopped myself. So if I was having a conversation, I might, I don't care if you leave me because I'm already having an affair with someone else, okay? Like, how do you think, how do you like that? I don't know, like that's terrible acting, <laughs> probably. But that's the type of thing I'm talking about. So if you practice that, you will just become a supernaturalistic actor. And that is one of the greatest compliments you can pay an actor is for you to believe everything that they are doing because it's seamless. Like, as soon as somebody behaves truthfully, naturally, you instantly connect with what they're doing. And if they aren't, you can tell they aren't, and you instantly disconnect and you go, why is this person doing that thing that they're doing? It doesn't make any sense, it's weird. You know, it's what makes a psycho killer uh, a psycho killer in a movie, right? It's the fact that they are smiling while they're eating somebody's liver or whatever they're doing. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. Practice doing something else, housework, washing the dishes. In fact, if you don't do housework and you don't normally wash the dishes, do it so that you can practice being like a normal human being and not being an actor, okay? That's how you become a really good actor is by not actually being an actor. It's by being a human and figuring out, okay, uh, what is going on while this thing is going on, right? And it may say you're a postal worker delivering your mail and you're on the phone. It may say you are a waiter at a restaurant and somebody, uh, you know, throws a glass of water at you. I don't know, it could say any number of things, but practice doing the other things and, you know, practice doing it whether it's written down or not because you can have a conversation. You're always doing something else, right? You're never or very rarely are you 100% focused on what somebody else is doing and what you are doing and saying unless it's really, really life or death serious. And, you know, again, that will come out naturally as well. Like if you are doing the housework and somebody, um, you know, tells you they're going to kill you, then you're probably going to stop doing the housework or you, maybe you don't take them seriously. It just depends on the facts, right? And if the facts are that uh, you feel threatened by this person, like they've just slipped into your house and you've never seen them before and you're doing the homework and this guy goes, I'm going to kill you and you didn't even know there was somebody in the room. Well, that's going to, that's going to create a different reaction and a different response than if, uh, you know, you're spouse, wife, kid, whatever says it. And you got to figure out, like, is it joking? Is it not joking? You know, and what is it you say in return? Like, you know, you could say, oh my gosh, and that could be fearful or it could be, oh my gosh, it could be sarcastic and facetious. Like you really don't care. You're not taking this person seriously. But anyway, there it is, guys. Just practice doing different things while you are doing your, um, your acting exercises, your work, your memorization. And trust me, it's going to make all the difference in the world. And then to double down on this, when you actually get into an audition situation, continue doing this other thing in your mind. It doesn't have to be the same thing, but have something that you are trying to do or that you are doing while this conversation is taking place, if it's appropriate. Like if you're sitting at your desk and somebody comes in and, and says, I need these papers, you have like, you're doing something, right? You're looking at your computer, you're checking your files, you're, you're shaking your pen. You don't know why your stupid pen doesn't work. <laughs> and if you do that, oh my gosh, 
casting directors, directors, producers will go mad for you. They'll think you're the most talented actor on earth. And this is exactly what happened to me uh, the first time I booked a couple of uh, top 10 TV shows. I wasn't sure what to do. I was such a rookie and I got really strange scenes. Well, at least scenes that I really couldn't make any sense of because they give you so little to work from. And so I just tried to imagine where this person was and I tried to have something going on. Like in the case of uh, CSI, I was a fireman, but I was also a serial rapist with a foot fetish and I had come to the door. So I thought, okay, well, if he comes to the door and he's asking to see the inside of the apartment because he wants to get in and gas the person, he's probably gonna maybe, like, what would I feel like if I were that person? I was like, oh, I don't want to get caught. So I, you know, I turned my head a couple of times while I was talking and they were like, oh my gosh, you're amazing. And I was like, wow, okay. But, at, you know, at the time, I didn't really realize what a difference that kind of thing can make. So if you guys do this, I know it's just going to in increase your uh, your apparent acting abilities by leaps and bounds. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. Let me know how it works out for you. And, uh, you know, shoot me an email or whatever. Like, don't be shy, guys. Shoot me an email, david at hackhollywood.com, or put a comment in the comment section below, whatever. Um, just get good at what you do and you will have as much success as you can handle. I will talk to you soon.